Hey guys, welcome to LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube. My name is Mackenzie, and today I want to show you around a car we've got coming in inventory. This is a 71 280 SL Pagoda. Come in, we're going to take a closer look and go for a cruise. First impression, looking at all the bright work, fitment of chrome, I'd say it's A+. Plus. It's got a great shine to it everywhere, no pitting, no cracking. Um, the flushness of fit on all these pieces too. I really like what's going on. The Germans had such good build quality. Um, of course this car has been restored, but did not fall short one bit. We come down the side of the car, you see some beautiful hub capsules. They've been very nicely restored. I believe these were uh, the 280 SLs were some of the first cars to get radial tires, which is pretty cool. Very smooth down the side here. Out back is where this car pulls you in even more, if you will. It's really an attention grabber. Very elegant. I like the dual exhaust off the side here. Very tough kind of rally look in my opinion. Got your 280 SL badge. Nice little bumperettes on here. The iconic, iconic Mercedes emblem. And what do we got sporting under here? Clean, nicely trimmed out trunk, just the way it would have been. Seals look very good. The striker all looks very nice. Some original stickers, just cool. And let you know your, what your oil level is supposed to be, tire pressure. And then up inside of the spare here, I was pretty geeked. We, uh, we got this with the car. We have a complete tool kit. And every wrench and tool, screwdriver, player, everything has Mercedes um, embossed in it, which is sweet. And this drops right back in here. Closes up good and tight. Deck lid sits flush. Passenger side of the car, fitment is just as nice. All of the trim looks very good. And you take a look at this roof. Um, it's kind of funny. It looks rather tall compared to the rest of the proportioning on this car. And they really wanted to make these easy to get in and out of. Um, and that shape with the concave in the middle and it being taller on the outsides is where the name Pagoda actually came from. Um, very neat. And when, once you step inside of here, the level of craftsmanship uh, Mercedes was putting out in this, this era is shown even further. Door cars look great. The second you look in this interior, it's overwhelmed with all sorts of fine finishes. We got wood, nice leather, plenty, plenty of beautiful chrome. The instruments all look great. Even have wood trim, I'm noticing, around the rear glass, which is just over the top. Um, we have a radio, I see the clock moving around. And then uh, this is an AC car, which is cool. We have a couple of dials there in the middle to make that go. And it is a factory four speed as well. A lot of these cars were automatic. This one is just that much more fun to cruise. A nice big old steering wheel here. Like the horn button can be hit anywhere. A little handle to help you get in and out. And then of course this whole top gets removed and stored in the back. And really out of the way is a soft top. But cool.
Let's pop this hood up. Very good. I see one more latch here. And sits right in, holds itself up like that. Very slick. Fills up the engine bay quite well. This is a 2.8 liter inline six with a very sexy valve cover on top. Got their badge in here, even on the oil fill cap. Um, what's cool about this generation of car, they're actually fuel injected. It's a system by Bosch. Previously, um, each set of your runners had their own carburetor and it could really be a handful to keep them sealed, keep them dialed in. This eliminates a lot of that headache and uh, they're more efficient and made a bit more power. So sweet little ride under here, looks very nice. I appreciate you guys tuning in and making it here with us. If you wanna know anything more, see anything more on this new arriving beautiful Mercedes, you can call me anytime. It's 248-714-2110. You ring that up, we'd be happy to help you with shipping, financing, of course, answer any more questions about the car. And speaking of more info on this car, I'm going to put a link down in the description of the video. You click that, it'll be the full photo gallery with 100 plus pictures. It right up, um, we've got a ton of documentation, a lot of stuff you want to see. That toolkit in the back is just the, uh, the tip of the iceberg, if you will. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Ciao.